Hi guys, this is Jatin from Testing Gyan. So in today's video, we are going to learn about how internally Selenium works. So if you have ever tried writing automation scripts in Selenium, you must have written driver.get or driver.find elements or driver.find element and many other Selenium commands. But do you know how that in, how it internally works or what Selenium internally do when uh, these commands are executed? So let's see all of this in today's video. Let's go. So guys, here is the picture describing Selenium WebDriver architecture. So let's understand in layman terms first that how Selenium works internally. So Selenium internally works on the concept of REST APIs. So for each command you will write in your code, be driver.get and then URL or be driver.find element and then locator. It will be converted to a web request, uh, get or a post. That request will send to the server and based on the sent request, it performs some actions and send back us the response. So guys, this is overall description that how Selenium internally works. So what I want you to understand by this, uh, I just want you to be aware about the concept that Selenium internally works on REST API calls. Let's, let's understand in, in depth that what each component means in here. So first one is Selenium client library. Second one is uh, this JSON via protocol over HTTP client. Third one is browser driver and a fourth one is real browser. So let's understand about Selenium language bindings first. So uh, we all know that Selenium is available to us in the form of libraries. Since Selenium developers don't want to keep this as language dependent and want maximum people to take benefit of this. Hence they have developed language bindings to allow Selenium to support multiple languages. So Selenium supports multiple libraries such as Java, Python, Ruby, C Sharp. As I've already told you that Selenium is available to us in the form of libraries. If I take example of Java, in Java it is available to us in the form of jars. So you just have to import those jars into your Eclipse project and you can uh, use uh, the Selenium command such as uh, driver.get or multiple commands driver.find element etc. Let's understand about this JSON via protocol. So JSON stands for JavaScript object no notation. So it is used basically to communicate the data between a server and a client on the web. So uh, we wrote a command driver.get and then uh, the URL. Now Selenium internally will create one JSON payload. It will collect all the uh, required data, different ca capabilities and other important data and create one JSON. Uh, so JSON is basically in key value pair. So it will create that uh, JSON uh, and then through JSON via protocol over HTTP client, this client will uh, send request to server. So HTTP server will basically uh, will be provided by these browser drivers. So each browser driver have their own HTTP server. So let's understand about this now. So as I have explained that each browser has its own HTTP server. So Selenium uses drivers specific to each browser in order to establish a secure connection with the browser without revealing the internal logic of browser functionality. So guys, this makes complete sense that why Google guys will reveal uh, their internal code or internal logic. So hence uh, they have made uh, this drivers available and you can use this driver to communicate through a real browser. So here is one question for you. Which OOP concept are being utilized over here? Do mention your answer in comment and we will let you know whether your answer is correct or not. So when we execute our Selenium test script using WebDriver, the uh, operation will be performed as, uh, so firstly, HTTP request uh, is generated and sent to the browser driver for each Selenium command. So this uh, HTTP client, uh, this, this will send a request to uh, this browser driver server. The driver receives the HTTP request through HTTP server. The HTTP server decides all the steps to perform instruction which are executed by your real browsers. And once uh, this is executed, execution status is sent back to HTTP server, which subsequently sent back to the automation script and uh, which we can see in our uh, console. 
so uh, these are couple of browser which i have mentioned over here which is supported by selenium so chrome firefox ie edge uh, there are couple of more others such as safari or html unit driver so there are uh, multiple browser which is uh, you know supported by selenium so guys i hope uh, it is clear to you guys how selenium internally works let me show you what api request uh, which i was referring to you know in the starting of this video let me go to that uh, github link of selenium so guys uh, here is the link uh, don't worry i mentioned this link in the description of this video so if you see if i scroll it down yeah so here are uh, different commands and you know their references that what each command do and uh, what uh, http method it is of get post delete or any other thing so here is the command of implicit wait here is the command of timeouts window handle url navigate backwards forward refresh so all the commands which you can use in your selenium code no will be will be available over here and uh, i hope guys now you all know that how selenium internally works if you still have any doubt please do mention uh, in comment section and we'll try our best to uh, resolve it thank you